be a medical breakthrough for women with early stage breast cancer. Instead of having to go through months of chemo and radiation, doctors are using just one treatment that's much easier on the patients. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how some tiny seeds are showing big promise. Connie Formelli has had breast cancer twice, so when the disease came back last year, she dreaded going through radiation again. I got real red, but I didn't get the blisters. Fortunately, her doctor had an alternative, a technique borrowed from prostate cancer therapy. Tiny radioactive seeds or pellets implanted directly into the area of the tumor after the lump is removed. It's a single treatment instead of multiple treatments, so a patient comes in, has seeds placed, and goes home. The seeds gradually release radioactivity over a few weeks and eventually become inactive, but the pellets stay in permanently. The body doesn't recognize them as anything abnormal, and inside there's palladium, which is a radioactive element, a very short half-life, so it gives very focused radiation to a very small area. One downside, radioactivity can be emitted to others unless a special shield is worn in a woman's bra. That would have been uncomfortable for Kathleen DiPaolo, who is the primary caregiver for her sick husband. Likewise, the standard post-op protocol of daily radiation treatments for several weeks also would have been difficult. Anxiety, knowing what fatigue, you're going to have fatigue probably more or less. Um, burning, you know, all the side effects. Fortunately for Kathleen, she was a candidate for a different radiation therapy at the Dubin Breast Center at Mount Sinai Hospital. It's done during the same surgery as the original lumpectomy. After the small tumor is removed, a radiation delivery device is inserted into the tumor cavity. 45 minutes later, the operation and the radiation are complete. It's not exposing the entire breast to radiation, and more importantly, the normal tissues that are nearby to the breast, so the lung and the heart, are really going to receive minuscule doses of radiation. Plus, it is a one-and-done procedure, and both treatments are best suited for cancers caught early. In most cases, they are covered by insurance. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.